Okay, so we'll walk around this uh, 1986 Honor C, um, Land Rover 90 ex-military soft top. This one's a bit special. The original 2.5 diesel engine has been uh, replaced with a 200 TDI motor uh, and power steering as well. And it's also been done up to look a bit like a wolf. Um, walking around it spec-wise, one thing, it's a rotten day here. I was going to try and video it inside so that I didn't get all these watermarks on it, but the paint is actually really rather good. It's just military paint when it's outside and rainy starts to get watermarks all over it, but uh, um, trust me, the paint is pretty good. We'll point out the bad bits and the good bits anyway. Um, Walking around it, it's got a matching set of five Goodyear G90 um, tyres on it on the proper wolf rims. Um, it's got a KBX ram filter on top. Um, headlight protectors on it, it's still got the military bumper on there. Down the near side, it's got the, uh, the extra spare wheel that the wolf has on the, um, mounted on the roll cage and a jerry can on the side. It's also got a spare wheel on the bonnet. It's also got the proper extended mirror arm for the uh, uh, for the wolf for the spare wheel. It's got twins. It's got side steps on both sides. It's got rear mud flaps, uh, rear bumperettes, um, tow bar with electrics. Although the, it's got an agricultural pintle on there at the moment, uh, adjustable. Obviously, that could be replaced with a ball if necessary. In the back here, we've got a bench seat on the right hand side, um, an ammunition box on the left hand side. Obviously, that could be taken out and replaced with a bench seat if needs be. Um, Pioneer tools that are mounted on the uh, uh, on the case that's been built up there, and inside we've got um, nice seats. I think at least a couple have been recently replaced with Exmoor trim ones. Checker plate floors, uh, a centre console with um, cigar lighter, and also a nice radio CD system. Although obviously you can't hear it particularly well at speed in one of these because they're a little bit noisy. It's also got a Kenlo fan for the 200 TDI motor. Right, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits, as I say. Paintwork is generally very, very good indeed on it, actually. Um, one or two areas where it's lifting, but it's basically standard military, although it's, uh, it's in nice shape. Although, so I didn't want to bring it out in the rain because, um, you know, you can't really see too much, but I'll, I'll uh, having just cleaned it, I, I know where all the blemishes are, shall we say. Little bits of paint loss and stuff just around the, um, um, around the buckles for the bonnet. Bonnet is a little bit crinkled down here. And there's a couple of bits of paint loss just up here towards the back of the bonnet. Um, looking down the near side, it all looks very, very clean and straight and undented down there. Very, very good indeed. Scuttle corner on the near side looks very good. I say these are just watermarks. Um, possibly had some work up here because the hinge is um, the hinge looks to have been covered over. So possibly had some fill around there, but. Uh, uh, all looks pretty sturdy down there. Um, passenger door, there's a couple of scratches in the passenger door, down, especially down there and down there. Quite a few scratches on the passenger door, really. Um, inside here, it's actually quite nice. Oh, it's also got uh, lined doors. Uh, they are the proper military doors, but they've got uh, um, probably X more trim linings on them, I guess. Um, military seats, it's all nice in here. The tilt is in great shape. Can't see any daylight through it at all. Doesn't seem to be letting in the water either. Um, you might see the fan switch has been, been removed. It's actually been replaced with a little switch there, so the fan does still work. Four speakers for the stereo in the uh, back bit here, which um, that was obviously metal originally. It's been covered over in wood. Uh, door frames spot on on the near side. That's really good. Um, footwells have been worked on by the look of it. Carrying on down the near side, all looks pretty good. There is a bit of um, paint loss just here on the near side rear quarter, which you might want to cover up with checker plate, but then again, the military ones don't really suit checker plate. Um, all around the tail end, it all looks good. Slight dent in the cross member actually just there, but doesn't seem to have um, done any more than just a slight dent. Looking down the offside again, very, very straight, very correct. Um, Driver's door fit isn't perfect at the top, but a uh, little bit of paint loss again just here on the back of the near side, um, the offside rear wing, but that all looks nice. Uh, offside door all looks very good. Offside A post looks good. Again, possibly a little bit of filler up here just around the, um, around the vent top, above the vent. But that all looks nice. A post is all nice. Offside front wing, all looks very good indeed. 
Um, let's have a quick look inside. Um, again, footwell on the driver's side has been done. Um, door bottom is first class. And yeah, that's about it really. It's a really, really rather, um, rather nice one. And I did, what did I do in it yesterday? 75 miles on it and it performed beautifully. Really, really nice. They're really good with the Turner TDI conversion. That's about it. I think my name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118907-1495 or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped anywhere you like in the world. Certainly the UK and Europe is no problem at all. Otherwise, it goes on a boat. That's about it. End.